some people got arrested for cooking some chickens. <laughs> cooking. Toasty! Good afternoon. Welcome to a new video, everyone. It's uh, it's lunchtime for me. I just thought I'd record a new video. Yeah, my lunch hour. Figured, why not record a video and then edit it later after work. Of course, my phone's still on. Hang on. IT Jack speaking. Nope. So a little bit about me before we start watching the video. My name's Jack. I'm from the north of England in a little town called Carlisle. We're on the border of Scotland, so the last city before you leave England. As northern as you come, to be honest. So the video from last week was Yosemite and today will be Yellowstone. Uh, I've watched a few things in the past about Yellowstone, but never really watched an, in an informational video like this. I, I actually seen some uh, yesterday because I watched something before watching this video just about the actual like volcano activity of Yellowstone. It said that there's been there's been three eruptions in 2.1 million years which on average means it happened it happened every 600,000 years and the last time it happened was about 600,000 years ago. <laughs> some people got arrested for cooking some chickens <laughs> cooking some some whole chickens in the in one of the geothermic uh, pools I guess they, they actually boiled some chickens in there um, they end up all three of them end up getting jailed uh, it's good to know while we start watching this video okay so we're watching Yellowstone National Park vacation travel guides on Expedia's YouTube channel uh, the link will be down below in the description. Any other video that I reference will be down there if you want to watch any of the videos that I'm uh, watching today. Hope you enjoy the video. Yellowstone National Park stretches across the northwest corner of Wyoming, reaching into Idaho and Montana. Founded in 1872, Yellowstone was the world's first national park and now hosts over 4 million adventures. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know it was the, the world's first national park. Okay. Adventures every year. A 12 hour drive from Seattle or a five hour drive from Salt Lake City, there's no doubt that it's a trek to get here. But the moment you step foot in this vast park, you'll know it was worth every mile. Yeah, it definitely looks it. It looks worth every mile. Um, I probably didn't put into too much context on my the last video when I was reacting to Yosemite, just how drastically different the, uh, the landscape is to what I'm used to in the north of England. Um, there's a lot, there's a lot more variety in colours. Uh, I kind of I feel with the uh, national parks in America um, we just have green and a lot of it a lot of green and, and a lot of just va varied different shades of green really I mean it, it's it's amazing but it's also nice to see the, the difference between between the two with endless green prairies, spectacular mountain ranges, and abundant wildlife, Yellowstone is the very best of North American wilderness, wrapped up into a two million acre gift for nature lovers. Yellowstone is proudly managed by the National Park Service, and its highlights are easily accessible by the Loop Road, which can be reached from each of the park's five entrances. So buckle up and get ready to explore a land untouched by humanity. Yellowstone is a geothermal extravaganza that sits atop a slumbering supervolcano where you can cook your chickens, apparently. Volcano, which is said to have violently erupted over 60,000 years ago. Geologists have long debated the caldera's origins, and theories abound as to when the next big eruption is due. But don't let the merchants of doom put you off. Seismic activity is closely monitored to ensure the safety of park visitors. 
Yeah, a video I watched um, before this was saying how they're trying to come up with an idea so it never has an eruption again. Although they think it, it's a long time away, obviously. Well, so obviously, I guess you never know. But um, they're on about put like drilling down into like the core of it and releasing, um, having two like generators that pump water from from wherever. I guess I don't know. Um, and then releasing the water down, mixing it with it, and then like pumping the water back out, and then just like cycling through. Um, a, a way to like cool it down I guess but they said that they don't know if they're going to do that or not because they don't know how it would react if they started digging down into it yeah interesting one of the best places to witness the geothermal activity bubbling beneath Yellowstone is at Grand Prismatic Spring just under 25 miles from the park's west entrance Admire the vivid pool from afar, but don't get any ideas about plunging in. These steaming waters can reach temperatures near boiling. Yeah, I've heard of stories of um, people who've uh, been stupid enough to actually get in willingly, or people accidentally falling in, and uh, yeah, it doesn't turn out well. Just to the south is Old Faithful, one of the most visited geysers in the world. So I didn't actually know this, but apparently the, the geysers are actually what pre is what helps prevent eruptions, I think. They, like, release the heat. Otherwise, all of it would build up and just cause a, an eruption. But the, the geysers are actually, like, a prevention of the volcano eruption. Aptly named, Old Faithful punctually spews boiling water and steam into the sky every 60 to 90 minutes. The explorers of yesteryear once used Old Faithful as their laundry, placing garments at the vent which were blasted into the sky and thoroughly washed by the boiling water. <laughs> This landscape is not only an impressive display of geothermal activity, it is also laced with lush forests, rivers, and lakes. Yellowstone Lake is the tranquil heart of the park, and outdoor enthusiasts congregate here for all sorts of recreational activities. Cast a line in the icy high-altitude waters, venture out in a kayak, or explore the lapping shores on foot. park is not only rich with legends and precious views it is also teeming with wildlife it looks very similar to yosemite um i think these are not too far apart from each other but the 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 actual environment looks really similar to the last video i watched Yellowstone has long been a refuge for America's native animals, and the park's greatest success story is the restoration of the mighty bison. Today, Yellowstone is home to the planet's largest remaining wild herd. In Hayden Valley, a close encounter with this sturdy beast is almost guaranteed. So remember to keep your eyes on the road. You would not want to hit one of those things. One of the most dramatic sights in the park is the Yellowstone River. Did that, did that sign say, slow traffic, use oh, caution while that, how do, how do the bisons know where they're supposed to cross? No, I'm not, I'm not following that. <laughs> how does this bison here know that it's got to cross the road there? sites in the park is the Yellowstone River. Fed by Yellowstone Lake, the river winds its way north before plummeting 300 feet off Lower Falls and into the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone. Leave your car and embark on the short hike to Artist Point, one of the best places to sit and marvel at the immensity of this natural wonder. The 
roots. Uh, oh, that. The roots of that tree literally just aren't even in the floor anymore. Um, it looks like it's sort of fell away from it, but the tree's left standing. So we don't. I, I guess we don't really have this, but um, the only comparison I can make to this is we get a ton of flooding in the in the UK. Um, and when when the flood waters rush over the ground, it actually picks up a lot of the ground with it and leaves the the roots of the tree completely bare. Um, so yeah, that's a that's a, a comparison to the UK. We we do see a lot of tree roots, but it tends to be um, due to floods rather than I guess landslides. <laughs> Natural beauty can lift the spirit like nothing else. And there are countless places in Yellowstone which seem to be designed for travelers to simply sit back and admire. Unfold a picnic chair at Pebble Creek and let the sound of its rushing waters clear your mind and soothe your soul. Still in the park's north, Dense trees open out into rolling prairies in Lamar Valley. Its lush fields are watered by babbling brooks and framed by a backdrop of snow-capped peaks. Bring your binoculars to catch a closer glimpse of more wild bison, along with Yellowstone's other native animals. When evening sets in, set up your tent at one of the many campsites or head out of the park's north entrance to Gardner. This gateway town is the perfect... Oh, it's cool. Um, it looks like a really... I don't know if you'd say traditional, like... American little town. Um, our... Uh, so this is, I guess this is like attached to the the national park, uh, like visitors place. Um, I'll I'll put some pictures up of what what it, what what our towns are like um, around our national parks in the UK. Um, there are there are a lot different to this. Uh, it's a very small. Usually a lot of the a lot of the shops and stuff are are old slate houses. Um, that were mine that the built from the mines that surrounded them back in the day um yeah drastically different comparisons between the the towns inside the uh, the national parks haven for weary travelers warm yourself with a hearty meal at one of the many saloons before continuing your epic yellowstone adventure in Yellowstone, a step in any direction is like a journey to another continent, and sometimes another planet. Their continent. The colour contrast there is just it's crazy. You've got like something that looks like Mars and then aqua blue water with the green and then the blue sky. And you've got all sorts going on there. And sometimes another planet. Just south of Gardner is Mammoth Hot Springs. The springs carry minerals, which solidify into ever-changing limestone terraces. The ethereal formations are a breathtaking reminder that even in the natural world, change is the great constant of life. I've actually been in a cave system in, in the UK um, that have the, those, the edges of those minerals, these, these here. Um, deep down in a cave in the UK walking past these like mineral deposits that they're actually they're really smooth um, and they just have water running them all, all year round um, yeah they're interesting things Terrace. even in the natural world change is the great constant of life Make your way south to Norris, an area surrounded by hundreds of geothermal wonders. Listen to clay bubbling and boiling from the depths of the earth at artist's paint pots. 
wander boardwalks set just inches from the trembling surface of Norris Geyser Basin and hold your breath as you advance through billowing clouds of vapor rising from beneath the planet's crust. I wonder if they cook the chicken there. I can't imagine that. Is it not really acidic as well? Isn't is it just the heat that burns your skin or is it is it also the acidity of the water? I don't know. Yellowstone National Park has long been a land of epic horizons, legendary stories, and endless renewal. As the grandfather of all national parks, its legacy has inspired wildlife preservation across the globe. Today, a trip into the heart of Yellowstone is like a journey back in time, a journey to the great landscape of America before Europeans arrived. It's a journey to creation itself. Okay, a little recording for you um, off a suggestion of the previous video. It'll be, it'll probably be on the end card if you want, if you didn't catch the previous one. Um, it'll be linked below as well if you want to watch the other one. Um, or if you want to see me react to some videos of um, our national parks and I can maybe talk, talk through a little bit of um, my experience with some of the national parks in, in the UK. Um, let me know that too because I've seen quite a lot of the viewers seem to be in America from on these videos um, which I understand so if, you, if you'd like to see some um, some British national parks let me know um, and I'll, I'll do some videos on those well thanks for watching leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to be notified when I post videos like these Hopefully I'll be back to normal soon on doing some actual exploring videos in the UK. So if you if you are from the States and you want to see those videos, there is some on my channel already and I'll be doing some in the future. Have a good day guys. Bye.